And we got the five screws off the back. And the case should just slide forward. First thing first is to check the CMOS battery. Now this is a brand new battery purchased off of a website. If you're wanting the same kind of battery, TL-5242 or slash W. And it has the comes with a four pin connector with the key. So that you can plug it so so that you plug it in the right way. See it's keyed down there. And the battery came with Velcro. And the AT case has already had uh this case already had Velcro on the back there. So let's see, I am not sure. I think this is IBM's hard drive, but I think it's a Western Digital. I'm going to have to pull it out to check the settings because the settings of this hard drive is not right and it is not a Type 20. So, I think the cables, yeah, the cables are catching in the back. There we go. Oop, almost got it out far enough to see what it is. Oh, the power cable's in the way. And now the ground is in the way. <laughs> well, you just gotta unplug everything. There we go. It's got a ground wire. Manufactured by IBM. Model number 665. Believe that is Western Digitals. And then there's the Terminator. If you have more than one hard drive, the last hard drive on the chain has the Terminator. The one in the middle, you have to pull it out. That is a dusty, dusty hard drive. Huh, no other identifying marks. I don't know. Have to look that number up, 665. Okay, here are the specs. 733 cylinders, 5 heads. The right pre-comp is 300. That's a 300 cylinder. Uh, 17 sectors per track. It's a 30 meg hard drive. Or a Type 8 on the AT list. We'll go ahead and power this up again and see if we can't. Uh, grab the disc here. We have our AT setup disc.
no. I don't mean this boot failure. You shouldn't do this while it's on. I'll double check and make sure everything's plugged in tight. That VGA cable's got a short in it. Yeah, if anybody's got any ideas, or saw something maybe I missed, I'm on, I'm trying the new cable with the the high density disk drive now, and uh, you know, if you can think of something that I missed. I, the system's already down to bare minimum. I've disconnected the hard drives, just trying to get it to boot right now. This is a memory card that's got to stay in there for the 640k, and we got a VGA card for the monitor, and then. There's nothing else in here. There's no serial cards, parallel cards, or anything like that. It is a... There it is. It's an 8286. 6 MHz. C after it. Uh, I don't know if there's a revision number on this board or not. It's the green board. put the revision number. I used to know this. Got 512k on the board, and then an extra 100. Where did it go? 128. There it is. Two banks of 64. Hmm. I don't know. Any ideas? Thanks for watching.